Construct the truth table for this statement. Notice that it is a biconditional this time. First thing we do though, as always, is set up the truth table and because there's a P, a Q, and an R, this truth table will have two to the third or eight rows as, you, as the previous problem did. But remember, this is a biconditional this time. As before, when I have a complex logical statement, I tend to break it up into pieces. So I will break this one up into two pieces. One piece is, the, is an or, and the other piece is an and. And I'll create columns for each of those pieces, and then I'll put it back together at the end. So I'll start with a column that, that deals with the or. All I need to do is take the P column and move it over. Take the Q column, move that over and then look at what I have left. Notice that I have uh, several not trues, and I know that not true is false. I also have several not falses, and I know that would be true. When all that simplification is done, I'm left with an or, and I know that for an or, it's only false if both are false. If you look down and scan, there are only two, but they're both false. So those two would be false, and the others would be true. Now I'll repeat that process for the next column, which is the AND column. I move the P's over. This time I'm dealing with R's and not Q's, so I move the R's over. And I do the same as before. I notice I have some not trues, which I can write as falses and I have some not falses, which I can write as truths. At this point, I'm left with an AND, and I know that for an AND, it's only true if they're both true. Scanning down the list, there are only two places where they're both true. So those two will be true, and the other six positions will, will have falses. Now I'm ready to move the pieces back over and put them back together again. Moving the OR back under the OR, then moving the AND over the last column under the AND, makes it clear now that I just have to evaluate that biconditional and I'll be done. And I do remember that for a biconditional, it's only true if they match, the left side and the right side match. If I scan down through there, I notice there are four matches. Two true trues and two false falses. So those four have a truth value of true, meaning the other four have a truth value of false. So now I have constructed a truth table for that biconditional.